Hi, my name is Martha Luke. I write for Getting Through Tough Times with Healthy Plays. In this video, I am going to be talking about how to get through the anniversary of a loved one's death. About 10 years ago, I lost my father to kidney stones. My dad was one of my best friends, and this time of the year is always really hard for me because I remember the day he died. Um, a lot of my friends have lost at least one if not both of their parents, and I really feel for them um, and anybody who's been through a loss. I just want to say that it's totally normal to feel angry or sad or guilty because you can't make amends with uh, your loved one and you miss them. I. I've felt like all of those emotions to different extents over the last 10 years. And um, the first step to really getting through them is to acknowledge them. Uh, another way, another good thing to do during the recovery process is to um, talk it out, talk about your feelings with a friend or a therapist. There's no shame in seeking professional help especially around the anniversary of a death. They can help you process what you've gone through since the death. And that's why I continue to talk to a therapist about the day my dad died. Um, and when you talk to people, it's okay to cry. You might end up crying during the middle of a conversation. That just means that your loved one meant a lot to you and you really miss them. So that's okay. And if you cry in private, if, if you'd rather do that, you feel more comfortable with that, that's okay too. I think tears are a good thing. Letting tears fall is like letting negative, negative emotions go. Um, another good thing that you can do to get through this time is to write a letter to your loved one. I've been writing letters to my dad and writing, uh, writing a letter can really help because it you start to think about what they would say to you if they were alive. Um, no, they can't literally respond, but you just think about their response and it can, it can uh, help you remember their wise advice or something funny they might have said. Um, another thing, one of my favorites is to do something creative to honor their life. I made a video for my dad that had like a lot of pictures of of him throughout his life and with his family um and every time i watch that video i remember him if you're not the creative type but you enjoyed spending quality time with your loved one maybe continue doing something that they had hadn't finished um like if your loved one uh was like always trying to clean their room, but they didn't get done, maybe clean their room. I know it's that's kind of weird, but you know, it's just an idea. Um, whatever your loved one didn't finish, you know, you can honor them by finishing it for them. If you have any tips on how to get through the anniversary of a death, feel free to share them in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.